What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski and I am back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and today I'm here bringing you guys a breakdown of how to beat the 30 stamina version of the Wedding Nami Fortnite being Operation Proposal Goddess. And uh, yeah, this, this Fortnite's pretty interesting. There are lots of really, really cool skill books like uh, Inti Vankov, which is awesome. You know, Inti Vankov being such an amazing special that allows you to, uh, you know, remove poison, like damage reduction or something like that. And it also uh, heals every two turns or like for two turns, you get a little bit of health back. Um, it, it's crazy. It's such a good special. And also the unit in this dungeon being um, Lola herself is actually really, really decent as well. But the team that we're going to be using is a slasher team. Now this team that I'm actually using is free to play aside from Vista. You know, you can just replace Vista with like uh, the uh, Sergeant Helmepo if you guys have it. But yeah, this team is pretty good. There's literally no specials you need to stall for. The only special that is worth having is uh, is Mr. Three, just for a little bit of turn delay. Uh, turn delay is a little bit redundant in the final stage if you do get the variation of the final stage with Lola because she actually puts up a debuff protector, which kind of does make it redundant as I said, but you know, against any other variation of the final room, it's very, very good. Uh, you know, with this team, there's really not much that you need to worry about. Uh, there's only like, you know, maybe two rooms that you need to worry about, which is the last two rooms being Lola and the final variation, which as I said, there are four different variations. There's Nami by herself. There is Nami with Sanji and also Absalom. Then there's another variation with Nami and Absalom without Sanji. And then there's one last variation, which is Lola and Nami. So uh, each of them have like different effects. Uh, definitely with Absalom is like the most annoying ones because he ends up blinding your units, which is definitely, you, you know, you do not want to get your units blinded. It makes it very, very difficult to output a lot of damage. So that's something that you do have to be careful about is if you are blinded, you do have to take extra precautions in, uh, in damage output. So here we have Lola here. Now in stage five, what she'll do is randomize all of your orbs, uh, including blank orbs. So that is something you do have to worry about. I'm pretty sure she also has a chance of giving you bother orbs as well. So you have to be careful about that. But she'll attack you every two turns. So you do get two turns in order to take her down. Uh, don't get her under 20% though, because I'm pretty sure she'll half your HP. So that is something you do not want to uh, you do not want to happen. Also, I'm bringing the coffin boat ship. If you guys don't have the coffin boat ship, I highly recommend to try out the Mihawk Forest and try and get it because it's just amazing it's like 1.5 times uh, attack and HP to your slashes very very good so in this variation here we have had Nami by herself and she's going to seal our special for our captain for five turns now in the guide video which will be linked down below I did state that she'll bind strength decks and quick units uh, for five turns but it turns out the translation was a little off and it does say bind specials for five turns okay so, all we want to do is just go ahead and attack. Now, the lower HP that Nami has, the more damage output she'll do to you. And I'm pretty sure if she falls under 30% health, she'll deal like 8,000 damage to you or something like that. And like, just the higher her health, the less damage she'll do. So, you do have to be careful about that. I just recommend just attacking the first turn, get her under 50% health. And then when you know you can take her down, just go ahead and delay her just in case if you do not end up beating her, you can just go ahead and uh, install her out. So... I'm pretty sure we should be able to win in this turn here, as long as we hit our perfects, because Mihawk, you know, allows us to get a higher damage uh, multiplier the more perfects we hit, and boom, there we go, and we get a skill book drop, so hopefully that is an Ivankov book, that would be amazing. So I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video, and if you guys have enjoyed it, make sure to smack the like button down below, and if you want to stay up to date with all of the content that I post on my channel, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, then make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, but on that, guys, I will see you guys within the next video. Oh.